morning world so um this morning we are actually awake pretty early we woke up at like seven something in the morning taking the van back to Wadey's dad because he has he needs it this morning so um yeah we're just gonna bring it back to him um before he has to go use it and we are probably gonna grab blah, 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 grab some breakfast right babe y'all we might grab some breakfast while we are out because we're not gonna um, eat breakfast we're just gonna grab it grab it just just grab breakfast. yeah just grab it and then and then put it down and then okay bye other than that the morning is just regular morning the only new thing is the rabbits show you guys here are the rabbits <laughs> It's so funny because he's always just in that stance. We call it the egg stance because he just looks like a little bean. Like a blab of black thing. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning world with your Chelsea shirt. Chelsea shirt. Yeah. Yeah, some beauties. Let's get easy. Beauties booty. So randomly, um, and I mean randomly, out of nowhere, I see this huge spider web. Do you guys see it? It's like from here all the way, where is it connecting, like over here? And look at that big ass spider Well, It's not big, but it's big in size, but not the body overall. It's like the skinny one, so it's kind of like me. Anyways, uh, don't appreciate him being here, so I think I'm just gonna smack him with something. Probably just flick him. Did I get him? I think I got him. Oh, he's... He ran away! Is he in a shirt? I mean, is he without his shirt? Get this guy. Check their spider webs out. Took away his home. His home. Okay. Earlier when I was in the van, um, <clears throat> you guys heard me uh, uh, listening to the radio and um, I never really listen to the radio unless I really don't have anything else to listen to. But um, um, they were talking about, what were they talking about? Uh, Iggy, um, Iggy Azalea um, being in uh, Fast 7 actually. Did you know that? No. That's so crazy because I'm like, so um, they were talking about how like some a lot of people feel like she shouldn't have a spot in this movie just because like, no. <laughs> you know like she just they okay this i'm just repeating what they said they just feel like she only came out with one song well one good song and the radio was saying how like she just has that one good song she has no um how can she be in this great franchise movie you know that's been going around for like you know so many years and stuff so they were just saying that like you know she doesn't deserve a spot but then um they said and then the other person said she feels like she feels happy for her and like um that this could bring her career up and it can although they did say that she does not have a big part <clears throat> just so like I, I guess the critics or whoever's producer knew that like people were gonna get mad so they probably didn't give her a big role due to that so um yeah she has like a really small role supposedly but hey i'm excited to see the movie and then the guy so it was a girl and the guy talking right babe and then the girl was kind of like she's the one that's um that's iggy's fan uh -huh. and then i guess the guy really like doesn't like her uh -huh. in the radio show <clears throat> and then he was like oh yeah what is who is he oh who is she gonna replace um uh paul walker <laughs> and i was like come on dude <laughs> But, but like, yeah. really? Her? I know. Like, who is she? Like, one of the import models or something? I don't like, know. what role would she play? But, um, yeah. I don't know. Not... Some badass going, Mr. Duda, Duda, I thought you knew that, Duda. And then she's gonna spell her name in bold, because <laughs> italicized is not good enough. <laughs> or underlined. <Yeah. laughs> she wants a shit on bold. <laughs> <laughs> I hate songs like that where, like, artists i guess you would say they would spell their name like over and over again i hate songs like that it's almost like you don't have anything better to say like if i was a singer it's like w-e-y-l-i-e <laughs> just in case you didn't know i'm going to spell it five more times in the rest of this song in bold, yeah, in bold. <laughs> another thing that they were saying about iggy was that um the girl feels like oh she could be an actress and stuff and then the guy he felt like she should only be an actress because she's an actress for rap supposedly like she's not really a rapper um i have i don't know anything about rap i cannot rap for you guys so <laughs> i 
I can't judge, so I, I can't tell what's a good rapper or a bad rapper. Besides. She does seem like she could be a good actress. Uh huh. I yeah. mean, like she's a good performer on stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the guy was saying how like she's not really from the hood. You know, she might have grew up with people around the hood, but she's not from the hood, and like the things that she raps about um, are not. I don't know, don't fit her I guess? I don't know what he said. He said something like that and That's how weird. she's an actress, you know, she she's not he 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 personally feels like she's shouldn't be a rapper. I guess I wouldn't know. <laughs> but um is it really that big of a deal if you're like if you're a rapper and like if you're from the Well world? yeah yeah, I, feel, I like, personally I feel like, you know, if when, you're talented, you're talented. It doesn't yes, matter. Yes, but then a lot of rappers, you know, rap is influenced by a lot of um harsh moments, a lot of, you know, negative memories and like killing people and seeing things like that. And when you don't see things like that and have never witnessed it, but you talk about it in your rap, you know? Oh. It, it's kind of just like why are you talking shit? You know, a lot of people get pissed off over that the fact that you didn't grow up in the hood and you're talking about the hood oh. that's that's what i know that people get mad over but i mean i guess sure another crazy thing that i heard on the radio so supposedly orlando bloom punched justin bieber in the face like damn really i mean you're a grown man you know like what are you doing punching a little well i guess it's not so little anymore but what is it like 19 20 i think he's 20 20 something. is he Something like that. I, I think, think he's younger than me. Yeah. Well, he's for sure younger than us. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, like Orlando Bloom, you're a grown man. What are you doing, like punching him? Why? Up? Why did you punch him in the face? Well, I mean, just like knowing how he, how Justin Bieber is. Not that we know him, but like <clears throat> how he appears on like the media. Maybe he he really deserved it. <laughs> yeah, maybe he talked some shit about yeah. Orlando Bloom. I don't know. I don't. Know. But whatever reason it is, you shouldn't have punched him. You should have used words or money or something else. No force. Only the kung fu can use force. <laughs> <laughs> this morning we're like, we're like reporters on like celebrity news. And a celebrity. Thank, news. thank you for watching Wally Celebrity News. I mean Wally TV's Wally. Wait, Wally, Wally Cele TV's Celebrity News. Thank you. Tune in tomorrow for more. Up next we have. Hello. So um, Wa just stayed home. Sorry was staying home today and I just came to the antique shop again <laughs> because they sell the non-toxic paint and since we have to paint the rabbit's cage of course we have to use non-toxic stuff so I'm here to get some stuff and oh my god it was such a long drive but I was singing in the car so it made the time go by a little quicker mm -hmm. and yeah it's kind of nice to be able to have some time apart from each other not that I don't like hanging out like we really are best friends and we hang out all the time and we don't get really tired of each other at all I mean there are moments where he does piss me off and I piss him off but for the most part we're really we chill <laughs> but um it's nice to have like some time away from your significant other sometimes especially if you guys live together I mean Juan I don't live together but we do you, you know I oh yeah I just want to say for those who um have a boyfriend because I have a few friends or acquaintances more yeah more like acquaintances and they're the type where they pretty much want to do everything with their boyfriend or girlfriend and not that I have a problem with that like that's seriously no problem if you guys get along well that's great but um I have noticed that some people I know tend to like revolve their whole life around them you know around the relationship I know this sounds so bad but um I'm not trying to judge okay you know what I mean but uh I just kind of want to give a little advice out there for people who are in relationships to always remember to give each other space and sometimes do things on your own because it's just really important to still have your own life while you're in a relationship because you just don't want to be as a whole you know what I mean like you should still be your own person in a relationship because a lot of times because of that it can cause some problems where people are just really attached um, but you guys know what I mean I don't mean it in a bad way at all I don't mean that being attached is a bad thing but I'm saying that it's good to have some time to yourself still because we all need it and okay I'm gonna go inside okay so I just got a bag of little goodies I'll show you guys what's in here once I get home because I'm really excited about these two things I got in here but uh, I'll show you when I get home huh, so I'm going to the dollar store right now because I wanted to get some paper plates so I can have something to put the paint on when I'm painting and I just saw this restaurant that well it's no longer that restaurant anymore but I remember when I was younger one time my mom was in China and my dad brought me and my older sister here and we ate here and whatnot 
it was just so cute and like looking back like if you guys saw that uh video i forgot what it was called there's a few episodes but um before this one where i talked about my relationship with my dad it just made me feel a little sad just because i feel like it's only been maybe five or six years and you know so much has changed since then it just feels so so distant with my dad anyway oh well other antique shop on my way home and this was so funny because I walked in the store and I see these like a bunch of ladies like probably like 10 of them all like at the cash register just talking and if you've never been to a vintage antique shop normally you would see ladies around the ages like 40 and up and it's really weird for them I feel like whenever they see someone like me go in the shop because they just feel like oh you're so young and you don't care about things like this so they didn't even greet me or anything and I'm like okay but anyways all these ladies they were just chatting and then i was kind of eavesdropping well not like i was trying to it was just that they were talking so loud and i hear this lady talking about her boob job and her nipple and whatever and i'm thinking like is she really talking about her nipple <laughs> and she was saying yeah they like cut it open and everything but yeah it won't scar and i'm like what the f <laughs> what are you talking about and then out of nowhere i just see this lady pull her shirt up to show her girlfriends her new boob job and this lady was like in her i mean she looked like she was somewhere like 50s late 50s type of thing and i guess she recently just got a boob job and it was just so weird i mean it's fine girl if you got a boob job but she like pulls her shirt up in this store and just like shows all her friends her boobs and i'm just like okay <laughs> and then it was so funny because they were really young-minded i guess too because they were just talking about like how they're gonna take some painting classes and then after they were done talking they were all like leaving uh they were all like bye girl all right see you later girl <laughs> it was so cute and funny at the same time but um yeah i saw someone's boobs today mm -hmm. i didn't really want to see that all right so uh we're about to start painting and waiting went to get these non-toxic um uh, chalk paints and she got white vintage white she got two of those two of them and then one the called kailua coral. kailua coral that one i'm gonna mix it with some white because i don't like how bright that is oh so you I want, want it, like a, a little, little more like this like a little pale mm. yeah. pastel pastel yeah, like more so, shabby chic more semi stick so we are still painting and uh, now Whaley's taking over with the pink and I think I'm just gonna step aside until she needs help because it's really hard painting with not the right brush when you don't have the right brush it's really hard and we only have one right brush. Moving on to the second hutch and this is pretty much done. And yeah what do you guys think? I think it looks great babe. Good job. It looks like, really nice. I kind of messed up here like the pink on the Yeah it's like a little... I no. hope I can scrape it off later when it really dries. Mm -hmm. But that's fine though. Like, I mean, can't really tell. But yeah, um, Bum Buns is already done. So... And I got him a little wreath. I know, it looks so cute. <laughs> it looks so girly though. I know. I thought about it, I was like, uh... Yeah, it looks so hella girly. He's actually a boy. Wait. If Wa was there, where's Bibi? Oh shit, she's in the back. Where? Oh, over right there? Here. Hey, what are you doing over there, Bibi? Trying to have an affair? <laughs> She's cheating on Wawa. <laughs> He's like, let me go see that young boy. <laughs> so as Whaley is painting the hutches, I am here making dinner. And tonight we are going to have... This is, um... I don't even know what to call this. I'm going to bake it. I guess baked pesto garlic cheesy chicken tenders <laughs> yeah so um yeah just marinated that yeah what can i say about it nothing much it's good looks good looks good smells good smells good it is good oh seems like it's ready so 375 and then i'm gonna bake Ooh, damn that heat Woo, girl your booty flaming hot okay put it in close it I have no idea how long I should cook it for. Maybe, uh, let's see. I think 25, 
Let's go with 21st. Yeah. So I just uploaded um, episode 148, the one before this one. And I said the, the one before this one? I think it's the one before this one. Anyways, um, it's so crazy because we lost a lot of clips. So there's many, many clips that we recorded. And um, even the previous episode was supposed to have clips um, that when we went to San Francisco, and yeah we saw a lot of subscribers as um as we told you guys yeah we saw a lot of subscribers that we had videotaped but i don't know why i can't find those clips and um yeah i was waiting all morning to get them back but uh i thought i thought i had them but then they just they were gone from the memory stick so yeah okay so i am now making the spaghetti i mean not spaghetti uh fettuccine the dishes are washing in the dishwasher, so I cannot use chopsticks. Therefore, I have to use a damn spatula that's outside of it. That sucks. If you are Asian and you are used to using chopsticks to cook certain things, you would know what I'm talking about. It doesn't feel right to the hand. No Americanese, okay? This Chinese only. No Americanese, please. Okay, it's saying that it's done, and let's take a look. Mmm. That looks good, but not done yet not quite yet maybe put another 10 minutes so i got the pesto fettuccine made on this side and mm, it smells so good guys and on this side i have green beans with garlic mm. and add some soy sauce in there some fish sauce and voila done and the chicken is also done right on time mm. So what felt like 10 hours later of painting? We're finally done. I'll show you guys the end results. But right now I'm gonna have this delicioso dinner made by the delicioso man. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this looks so good. I'm so hungry. When I was painting, I felt nauseous because mm -hmm. I was so hungry. This looks so good. really good. Thank you so much. Ah. Fish boyfriend. Mm. He doesn't like when I cup his face, but I have this habit where I always do that. I'm like, ooh, he hates it. I'm sorry. I like it. Cup my face. That feels nice. It feels so good. <laughs> you mother s. This is a cilantro that um we planted in. What are you digging for? We are. <laughs> I mean, this is the um cilantro that we planted in our garden, and not too bad. Not too bad. They're actually um very. How do, how do I say it? It has a strong scent of cilantro, so it must be good stuff. Yeah, they're pretty strong too. Is Bumman eating it? Yeah, we're cool. He's loving it. Wait for it. <laughs> oh, yum, 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 yum. to show you guys the rabbit cage okay so okay hold on let me situate everything first and i will show you be right back all right are you guys ready for this rabbit condo tour okay town. so oh yeah this is their town home community okay <laughs> that's why it matches you know okay see what we did there so let me begin by showing you guys bb and wawa's um this is their old hutch though it's not like it's a new hutch but i must say it looks like it's brand new but um yeah they've had these hutches for a while now and if you've watched our videos you already know what they kind of look like so i just painted them and this is what it looks like bb and wawa lives in this one and they have a two-story condo townhome <laughs> because um basically upstairs i can show you from here upstairs this is what it looks like 
from that door that's how they come up and we still need to buy a rug up here because it's slippery right now and they just don't want to sleep up here but normally this is like their master bedroom and they like to hide out in here their master <laughs> that is their master bedroom it's just that their master bedroom has a detached bathroom downstairs <laughs> so yeah and this door opens so just in case they're in there and you want to give them a treat you can but up but up I'm loving it. Okay, that wasn't even the song. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, and then right here is where we have access to these children. So you just open up this door, and this is what it looks like on the inside. Them two are always chilling in that corner. I don't even know why. And that's their toilet. We also put hay in there because they like to eat hay while they shit. It just helps them digest. And then we have this little dish right here that we normally give them some pellets. And if you are curious, bunnies are actually not supposed to have too many pellets. They're just kind of a little tiny portion of their diet. So we have some pellets here. And then we normally put like the vegetable on the side right here. But then they just like take it out and flip it on the floor anyway. So there's really no point of this dish. And I also have this. What is this called? I got this from Ikea. This is just one of those mittens you're supposed to use to handle hot stuff. I've had this for a really long time and it's just getting old. So I was like, I'll just give it to them because this water bottle right here actually drips sometimes. And I'm just trying to protect this rug. So that is why that's there. Okay, that was a really long tour. I'm gonna keep it short for bun buns, but that's pretty much their uh, apartment tour. And right here, this one's Bun Bun's. His is also two stories, except it's a little lower. And there he is. He likes to hang out everywhere. He's not shy at all. He would like come out if I open the door. But um, this is what it looks like. He has double doors. Fancy schmancy. <laughs> this is his toilet. For some reason, he likes to poop upstairs. We tried putting the toilet downstairs, but he would poop everywhere. So we put it upstairs and he started to use it. This is what it looks like. This is how we have access to clean it. The roof opens up like so. And that part is broken. Oh, you fixed it? No, I'm holding it on this. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is his toilet. He has some hay and that's his poopy area. And we also keep his food dish. So when you close the door, it's right there for him to eat. And you can see those are his little droplings. They look like M&Ms. Okay, now you can never see M&Ms the same way. Oh. <laughs> okay, so. Those are his double doors and oh, by the way, they each have a wreath. I got this from the vintage shop today. Aren't they so cute? This is the one on BB and Wawa's. Okay, so yeah, he has this part right here uh, from his toilet that he can go downstairs and that leads to his bedroom. And we also have access to him right here. We can just flip open this thing and look at him. Hello. See, I told you guys, anytime you go anywhere, he will come and greet you. Hello, my bun bun. Oh, this boy, we are trying. We're still trying to potty train him. He's just a little asshole. He likes to poop everywhere, but I think that's just his way of marking. So for tonight, we're having a fair and wait, we're having a fair trade system. All right. So she wants a massage. Give her a massage. I want to go out. We go out! So as you guys know, I was just <laughs> massaging Miley. And then this whole time, all right, let me show you my view. This whole time, right here, you see this like white part right here? Like this is the glare from, you know, the the reflection, I guess. <laughs> the light. And right here, I thought it was like the glare also because of the light, but look closely. It's paint. <laughs> It's paint. How'd you get paint on your ponytail? I don't know. On your bun, I mean. Is there a lot? Yeah, you feel it? Where? Right, right. Right here. Oh, shit! <laughs> I've been reading comments lately and a lot of you have been wondering if Wa and I are living together again and the answer is yes and no. <laughs> um, as you guys know we've been together for almost three years now and I guess if you've never been in a long-term relationship, is, is three years long? I don't know, it feels kind of long to me, but um, I remember when I never had a long relationship I always felt like oh living together is such a bad thing 
do you know what I mean? But um, anyways, I I think a lot of people kind of see it as a bad thing that we live together, and some people think it's cool, like they don't care. But um, basically, what I mean by yes and no is that we don't live together, as in this is my place, but Wa just spends the night a lot. I think that just happens when, well, when you're an adult and when you're dating someone, it just kind of naturally happens. Like you start staying at their house, they start staying at your house. And for me, um, because where I live is just more convenient versus where Wa's um, family lives, that's why most of the time he's at my place and yeah. And we get along really well, so we just like, like we just enjoy each other's company. So, I mean, I guess you can say we live together because we do like sleep together every night and things like that. But um, at the same time, we don't because it's not like we are, <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyways, that's to answer your question for those of you who are wondering. So yes and no, I guess. Oh yeah, going to bed now. So, Wa's already asleep as usual. He always sleeps before me, which kind of sucks because I don't like falling asleep last. Are you guys like that where you, you, you like feel lonely when you're the last one to go to bed? Like you like to have someone awake while you go to bed so that you don't feel alone? I don't know. I'm weird. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna go to bed now. But um. Guy is like a pig. He did not even hear me. Is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. It actually doesn't smell like garlic, right? It smells like barbecue. Yeah, maybe just this section. Yeah, but I smell more like just barbecue versus garlic. Oh, you guys, it's hot today. It's like a hundred something. Yeah, I feel like I'm melting right now. 